It was the 1980s in Queens, and quite a number of women came down with cancer. But the strange part was it was a small area, and all of these women were having cancer in the tongue, in the lip, in the mouth, and the scientists were baffled. Cancer clusters were not that unusual, but such a heavy concentration in one specific area, they began researching. This was Middle Village, and in the 1950s, many of these women had worked in a watch factory. That watch factory had radium, which they would apply to the numbers. Radium made the watches glow at night, but radium is radioactive. The foreman made sure that the women were very meticulous in their work. He made sure that they licked the paintbrush, brought it to a point, and dipped it into the radium. Of course, they would put it back in their mouth after, and all of these women, some 30 years later, came down with lick cancer, tongue cancer, and etc. Imagine if you were to tell these women in the 1950s, stop, don't touch them, don't do that. If you put that in your mouth, you're going you're gonna to damage, You'll be, your tongue will be cut out, your, your throat will have to be opened up. They wouldn't understand, and they wouldn't relate to you. The Chavetz Chaim explains to us that in the world to come, our neshama is fashioned directly shaped after our body. And each of our limbs corresponds to a part of our neshama. And he explains that if a person never put on tefillin, then his arm will be missing. And so too, if a person speaks Lashon Har regularly, there'll be deformations, parts missing, as if to say a person had his tongue cut out, his lips removed, and his entire throat opened up. We don't realize it now. It seems like it's not a big deal, but the ramifications are grave. The Torah forbids it openly with 17 los says and 14 says because that's how severe, that's how serious and grave the issue is.